Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. This is a Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. Uh, a story that I don't think most people would cover on a just extremely weird sports day. I mean, the Flyers trade Mike Richards and Jeff Carter away. The NBA draft, there's a bunch of weird trades that could go down and I'll cover the draft uh, after the first round goes down tonight. Hopefully, and um... But, but the story that I think I feel a need to cover is the Jim Ruggleman quitting. Uh, I, I think he has just done an absolutely tremendous, tremendous job with his national team. And while maybe he was just a guy that is the type that comes into situations and gets them headed in the right direction, I think it was extremely poor by the Nationals not to go out and give this guy a couple more years on a contract. Uh, basically all he was asking was for his option to be picked up and considering the way he's got this team playing I don't get it they have a ton of a bright future with guys like Danny Espinosa um, Ian Desmond Bryce Harper Steven Strasburg Ryan Zimmerman I mean Jordan Zimmerman the, the list goes on and I think that this is a guy that they respected and who got them to play and I just I, I don't understand why the Nationals couldn't commit to giving this guy picking up his option, just giving him one more year. I mean, I'm looking at what they did in their last ten games. They're nine and one. They're over 500 for the first time, and who knows when? Like, uh, I mean, obviously they probably there was probably a point where the Nationals were one and zero or two and one, but this far into the season, this is probably the most they've been over 500 since they had Soriano, and I, I think that. They let one of the guys who's done a great job in the majors get away, and I, I don't understand who they think they're going to bring in that was gonna, that is going to do a better job than this guy because they haven't had anyone prior to him that's done that good a job. I mean, Manny Acta didn't even get it done. Frank Robinson was basically forced into having that job. He didn't want it. And, I mean, Jim Riggleman took over from being the bench coach, and he did a tremendous job. And I, I, I think it's weird that he quit. You know, I think there, there's got to be something besides a contract that was brewing with them. And you know what? That, that is on them because this guy did such a good job for this team. And for the Nationals organization not to take care of him and not to give him, let alone just pick up that option, give this guy a two- or three-year extension. I mean, really. I, I, I do not get what they are doing. Because this, is, this isn't a guy who had a problem with the players, the players all liked him. This is a guy who has turned this team around and put them in the right direction. I think when you look at it, when you ask someone who was on the Nationals in a few years if they get successful, who was the biggest part of this, a lot of them will probably say Jim Riggleman because he has done a tremendous job turning around the culture and everything that has gone on in Washington. I'll see you guys later.